everybody get your fucking German pinprick. You, you've been on the money, bro. No one can fuck with you. No one can say anything about you, no matter what it is, including myself. Thank you for the kind words, crypto face. Let's get to it. Now, whether or not an exchange is being deceitful and it's unregulated and playing games, we still need to understand that trading in any digital assets is risky and dangerous. Even trading your single life from married life has its inherent risks. You can lose all your money and by no means am I a financial advisor, but it's time to expose BitMEX for what it is. You know, the first thing that I never liked about BitMEX, and I've always said that the markets are designed to take your money. When a new person looks at BitMEX, this is the scariest, most complicated thing they've ever seen. And what do I tell you? I tell you that we get rid of dark mode, we get rid of all the indicators that we don't need. Well, you know BitMEX is terrible customer service. It's hard to get a response. Well, I had some hefty interactions with them yesterday, and I called them out about their own trading desk that's trading against us, okay? About the system overloads. When the system is overloaded and we're trapped and we are tra trapped in being a short or a long and we can't get out and take those profits, guess who is? BitMEX. Well, they got so heated with me, they closed all my BitMEX accounts. Yep. Now look, I could open another email address and just open another account. But what I've seen here is outright deceit and fraud. And it's funny because within two hours, even though I was using a VPN, okay, you know, they asked me, oh, what's your, what's your account name? Let me look into it. But they closed all my accounts, all of them. Now, what I found out is ground shaking. Let me show you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'll tell you something. I hear many people who I've done consultations with say, I don't understand. I'm up 40%, I close my position and I don't make any money. It just doesn't make sense. And I try to explain to them the difference between realized and unrealized P&L. And I've been looking into this more and more myself. You guys know I am the undefeated champion at trading, okay, with leverage, with my German pinprick strategy that I have been teaching all kinds of people from all walks of life. Okay, I don't care if you're an expert trader trading Forex and options and, and cryptos for you know the longest time, or if you're just a guy at home that wants to make a few bucks real quick. And you know, it is possible, but not when the odds are stacked against us, not when the exchange is trading against us. They have their own, this is little known, they have their own trading desk. Okay, now look on Wall Street, there's HFT, high frequency trading, okay? These guys literally, now look, we know fiber optics and all that stuff is like, you know, exceptionally quick. They move as close as they can to the exchange because milliseconds matter. How the hell can we beat BitMEX when they are the exchange? They are the market makers. And I'm the only YouTuber who actually shows you my trades. And I do these crazy velocity trades, like, you know, 480% in seven minutes. This is only possible, okay, with leverage. Forget trying to buy low on Binance and wait for it to go up a few pennies. You're not going to make any money, okay? You need to be doing this high leverage trading. It's the only way. But you guys are not seeing it in your pocket. I see it because my numbers are so extreme. But for the average person, they're screwing us. Now, hold on, I'm gonna share something with you. I'm gonna play a little bit of this for you and I want you to listen. And I haven't really heard anything bad about it. So I thought it was very, very interesting when I saw this article uh, because I already felt like there was some fishy stuff going on, especially with 
you know, the trades purposefully being more volatile in order to liquidate high leverage trades. You know, if you basically, if you open a hundred X trade on BitMEX, you're going to get instantly liquidated because of just the small price movements that happen every second. Uh, So that obviously looks a little bit fishy. Um, but they are actually the highest volume on coin market cap, uh, which I thought was interesting. Some of you guys may not have known that because uh, on default, it puts market with fees on coin market cap. So it doesn't show uh, BitMEX there. But if you do click on all, then you actually do see that BitMEX has almost double the volume of Binance, which is absolutely insane. And so that's why I thought it was important to talk about this. So first off, on April 30th, BitMEX actually released a post on their blog admitting that the exchange operates its own for-profit trading arm. Do you hear that? They actually admitted it. No, this went over everybody's head, okay? Nobody caught this. Nobody caught it. You can't trade an exchange that's trading against you. And I've warned that there are going to be a bunch of scam exchanges coming. You know, there was, I think uh, one of them was uh, Bit. Uh, there was a Chinese one, a bunch of. I looked at every one of them, Monix or Monifex, whatever it is, all of them. I didn't like anything. Look, trading needs to be simplified for the average person. That's my whole goal here on my channel. Simplify it for the average guy. Forget technical analysis and everything else. But let's hear more about this. Meaning that Bitmex themselves trade against customers. So. This is what I've been preaching. They trade against us. People who have an account on BitMEX and who are making leverage trades on their own or using the API or whatever are actually fighting against the exchange itself to make trades on this exchange and for profit and things like that. So there are a few conflicts of interest there, obviously, Um, you know, specifically just one. They get away with this shit because it's not regulated, okay? And this is why now they're starting to talk about KYC. They're in trouble. And if you don't, well, we're gonna play more of this and then I'm gonna show you something, a tool that I use to judge the health of a hype. Many of you guys don't do hypes. Um, It's just not your thing. I love them when they pay. I'm in one now called Hyper ETH. That's amazing, but let's pay attention. One obvious one being that they could get a very, very high chance of having an unfair advantage, not only being right next to the BitMEX servers and having full access to everything that BitMEX does, uh, but also a few other things that I'm going to talk about. And Let me stop for one second. Do you remember what I just told you about the high frequency traders on Wall Street, how close they need to be to the exchange because milliseconds count? This video. So... What BitMEX does in their for-profit trading desk at BitMEX is they actually have a market maker. And the thing is, most market makers, you know, they can be profitable, but once in a while they can lose money, uh, mainly due to fees. And the thing is, uh, since this is within BitMEX, uh, they actually can pay back the BitMEX uh, team, the BitMEX trading team, if they do lose money based off fees. So I find that extremely you know, bad because that makes it so they can make a higher volume of trades, they can make wash trades, meaning trades that just increase volume that aren't real volume, um, and they can still count it as volume uh, and basically give themselves an advantage to trading against their own customers uh, and make profit off of them. So, you know, that's obviously a very, very bad thing that BitMEX does. And one other thing is if you've ever used BitMEX, you've probably had those areas where you're trying to put in an order in an area of high volatility. So if there's a really fast move happening on BitMEX, most of the time it says like API overloaded or too many trades, try again later or something like that. They do that on purpose and they are trading when there are those huge moves. When there are massive moves, they lock you into the trade so you can't grab that. And believe me, I'm the king of doing extremely high profitable trades in a short period of time. Okay, but I cannot and neither can you work with an exchange that is out to be your enemy. The exchange should be your friend. They should make their money on fees that's what it's about not taking your money through liquidation you want to see i'm going to show you something check this out 
This is the Alexa ranking that I use to test hypes. You always want to get in early when it's on the run up. Let's see where BitMEX is right now. Look at this. BitMEX has literally fallen off the charts. I had three BitMEX related channels. Now I primarily have one. I noticed my views were going down. I noticed the amount of people requesting consultations was going down. I started doing research. It is across the board. Okay, now this isn't all bad news. We can still make money, you can still get rich. I wanna to listen to a little bit more of this video and then I'm gonna show you something that I've been doing. It also happens with the API where if you try to uh, send too many requests to the BitMEX API using a trade bot of some sort, then it can block you. And the thing is, uh, there was actually a large market maker trading firm tried to contact BitMEX in order to ask if they could increase their API requests. And the thing is that they denied that, meaning that they wouldn't be able to get improved uh, API requests for their firm. Yet, they do have their for-profit trading desk that is probably taking full advantage of these situations where people can't trade because maybe the API is overloaded or something like that, but the trading desk at BitMEX can make trades during those periods, which is once again a very, very fishy thing because they're making profit during periods when people can't trade, so maybe you have a short and you want to close it. Um, BitMEX can do orders whenever you can't close your trade and, uh, you know, maybe liquidate you or something like that. You know, there's lots of different possibilities that can happen, uh, but I think it's horrible that BitMEX has been doing this and it's just a prime example of, you know, some things that can happen whenever there's really no regulation uh, in the exchange space yet, yet, especially since BitMEX is not in the U.S. Uh, as far as I know as of this time right now. So obviously there is that big issue with the Binance trading desk uh, making profit off of its own members using unfair advantages. Uh, and then the one other thing that BitMEX has been accused of is actual wash trading once again. Now, let me explain you guys the issue with wash trading. Wash trading is when, uh, you know, there's a certain amount of contracts bought and sold by two separate accounts on Binance BitMEX, meaning that there is an account on BitMEX, uh, both owned by the actual exchange itself, one that sells 5,000 contracts, and then the other account buys those 5,000 contracts. Now, the thing is, since they are BitMEX and they are owned by BitMEX, they don't have to pay, they, they don't have to pay any fees so it doesn't matter uh, that they're doing all these trades that would normally be you know obviously unprofitable for normal people um, so they're doing all these trades just buying and selling to themselves in order to increase volume on BitMEX uh, which makes a false impression of liquidity meaning if you have a large amount of money that you're trying to sell on BitMEX then the price can change based on that because there are all these orders here uh, that you know show a certain amount of contracts that are willing to be bought or sold at these prices even crypto face and I okay who we haven't spoken in a while we used to be friends we're kind of frenemies i don't know i always have an open door policy with him um extending an olive branch but we talked about the fake orders here these massive orders that appear and then disappear okay and come on a couple of things that matter to you you got a 30 40 percent profit it's not realized in your wallet when you close the BitMEX is moving either in a massive downward move or upward move and then they say system overloaded. You mean to tell me with all the money BitMEX has and makes they can increase their server capacity? I think this is intentional. Let's move away now and just so we can recap we covered a few things. One, why you're not making real money in your wallet. These are the reasons. Okay, two, the lack of availability during the most profitable times. They shut you out, okay? And they intentionally put in fake orders to increase the volatility to liquidate you. This is fact. Now, I had over 318 people under me in this account, okay? And the affiliate commission they pay you is a portion of the fees that they charge. Now, in all the time I've been doing BitMEX, probably a year, 
okay? I've made 2.7 Bitcoin, okay? 2.7, that's it. And over that course of time, for the amount of videos and work I've put in and the little bit that I've asked of you guys, you know, to use my link, whatever, that is not a lot of money, okay? It's not a lot of money. Right now, what is that? $7,000 over a year? You know, it's, I'm not in this for the money. I am in this because when everybody else left YouTube in the down market, you see they're starting to pop their ugly heads back up because they're smelling money. The crypto flowers, all of them. And they're all going to come back, okay, as we get into the expected bull run. But I doubled down. They call me a scammer. They talk bad about me. They put my name in videos. And, you know, it's all to get attention. Look, I'm the biggest dog in the room. And I'm not proud of that. It's just I, I love what I do. And when you love what you do so much, you become great at it. You excel. And I love making YouTube channels. I love teaching you guys about crypto and how to make money. I always told you nobody wants you to be rich. Your friends, your family, the government, your coworkers, they all like you where you are. And guess who else don't want you to be rich? Goddamn BitMEX. So let's move forward, peeps. Now, I always tell you, you need to have your screen as simple as possible so you can focus. And I always say the market is designed to work against you. This is how BitMEX starts off, okay? Let me tell you something. I've been looking high and low for something fair, okay? Something fair for all of us. Rather than a bunch of made up market prices from God knows where, how many different exchanges, I'm gonna introduce you to Bit7. And I looked at everything, okay? Uh, Prime XBT, all of them. Okay? I didn't like anything what I seen because I seen the same shenanigans and no volume. Now, I'm gonna show you this new exchange. I already signed up last night. This is how it looks out of the box. They don't even have dark mode. What do I tell you to have on your screen? You wanna have your positions. You wanna have your German pinpricks known as Heike and a she candles. And here's your order book. The recent trades, that doesn't really matter. But there's your order book, okay? Now, the beauty of this, is simplicity and it is literally half the fees half for the average person to and i'll do more tutorials on this we're going to trade on this look it's set up perfect for what i teach you no extra indicators nothing okay yes you can add indicators but this is how it looks outside the box now you come over here right you want to bet that it's going to go up or down for the average person, okay, this is a lot more simple than, you know, that long short slash thing. Hold on, let's go to BitMEX. Where is BitMEX? Here. Okay, so here you got this uh, long short kind of sell, and, and it's hard for the average guy to figure out. When we go over here, hold on, let me find my page. Okay, I got a lot of pages open. It's simple. All right, now, here's what I did. I threw $100 in as a, as a test, okay? Now, they don't have their own made-up token. You know how I feel about made-up tokens. There's no point in it. There's no purpose for it. So now, look, you see as I go over this, it doesn't flash or change, just like on BitMEX. Here's your, here's your positions, okay? Here's your open orders, your closed positions, okay? Your wallet balance, okay, which is like nothing in here. Now... This is super, super simple. You First of all, when you sign up, all they at, they don't even care if you have a VPN. Decentralized, straight up, this is the real deal. Now, you want to talk about customer support? Look at this. I peppered them with a fuck ton of questions last night. Instantly, they answer you back. Okay? Um, hold on. Uh, great, I'll share this with my subscribers. Okay, where can you see referrals? I think I lost my all kinds of stuff. Then I asked them about this CPM page. They get back to you right away. Right away. So there's help. You can ask a question about your deposits, your account, or affiliate, whatever, and you just type in your question. They get right back to you. So let's go back to leverage trading. If you want to open up your account, Okay, all you're gonna do is there'll be a link down below. They ask you for a name, an email address, a phone number, and a password. 
The phone number, you could put anything you want. The name, you could put anything you want. Just use your real email address. You want to make a deposit? They only take Bitcoin. Watch this. They only take Bitcoin as a deposit. You know, sometimes it takes like 20, 30 minutes for your um, deposit to go through. It shows pending for a long time in BitMEX. This is almost instant, almost instant, okay? So I threw a hundred bucks in here, okay? Now, you got deposit, you got withdraw, you got your history, okay? The fees are literally half of what BitMEX charges you. These guys aren't trading against you. This is very, very different. So let's say you have no crypto. Okay, well, that's not the one. There's another one, hold on, coin deposit. If you wanna buy Bitcoin, it will tell you, okay? It'll list, I forgot where it is. It's here somewhere, okay? That you could literally, it'll tell you all the places in all the different countries where you can buy Bitcoin. Now. Let's say you're going to, now they only take Bitcoin as a deposit. You send it there, boom, gets there right away. Let's say you want to trade Ethereum, okay? So you're not going to use some crap token. You're going to come here and exchange your Bitcoin. With the, and there's really, really, I believe there's no fee on this. Okay, look, I exchanged my BTC for ETH. Okay, it's as simple as going like this. Uh, let's say... Uh, you want to exchange your Bitcoin for Litecoin. If you want to trade Litecoin, if you want to trade Ethereum, okay, if you want to trade Ripple, whatever you want, all right? So you do that and then instantly it's in your wallet. You come over here to leverage trading. Now check this out. I just put a hundred bucks in here and I was playing back and forth with it, okay? And so I chose to go short and I did a couple of trades. Look, if I had, I maybe I did five different trades up and down just to get a feel for it. I didn't care about the hundred dollars, all right. And I'll tell you, look at this. I'm up eight point four percent. If this was in Bitmax, I would have had no money left. That hundred dollars would have been gone. Here's your leverage scale right here. It could not be easier, and it is set up to follow my German pinprick strategy. I didn't have to do a single thing. When I got into this, here's your Bitcoin. Here's your Bitcoin chart. Now this is on the one minute chart. We can do uh, a one hour chart. Very simple. You know, I like to trade on the one minute. Okay, if I was gonna go long, I would have watched this. I probably would have waited a bit because this is still not clear direction. Now we're starting to get the German pinpricks moving up here. We have the, um, the wicks coming out of the wrong side. That's always indecisive. It shows weakness to the upside. But this couldn't be easier, people. I love it. I absolutely, and it took me a long time. And I told so many of you, oh, why you gotta look for a new exchange, this and that, until I found out that they were screwing us. Every single, and they only get their prices from, Bit, uh, from Poloniex and Bitrax. That's their market price. You sell out a market on this, you're not going to get slaughtered, okay? You take a big hit. Now, you know I like to go in and out at market because when you have gains that look like this, you don't want to sit there and fiddle around, okay, trying to get an order bought. You want to get out at market and grab that because, look, I tell you all the time, these things do one thing, okay? Actually, two things. Goes up, goes down. Goes up, goes down. That's it. And that's where the money is on the one minute chart. So you want to be quick in and out. The biggest thing I've always taught people is that you can go ahead and once you have a nice profit, or like 80% or whatever, take the money. Don't think it's going to just keep going up and up and up because you know it just oscillates up and down. This, you know, it's, I'm so happy I'm finally exposing this. I finally got enough information and I told you, you see, I wouldn't go long here because these were indecisive candles and sure enough, boom, downtrend continues. You got to try this exchange. Okay, look at that nice little, little 9%. And if I sell it at market, I'm actually going to see that in my wallet. Okay, no more BitMEX shenanigans. Okay, from now on, I think we could, we could aptly name it ShitMEX. This, I, this is terrible. It's bothered me so much that all the people I talk to, they're like, Oracle, I don't understand why am I up, 
you know, 45% or 38%, and then I sell it and there's like no difference in my wallet. Well, now you know why. Now you know why, okay? So if you have an open order, it shows here. Oh, there's something super cool. How many times, you know, we hate to stare at the screen. How many times have you been out, okay, and, and you're, it, it goes crazy in your direction. Oh, by the way, they have mobile for this site too. Goes crazy in your direction and you just can't get out fast enough. They have auto sell. Check this out, okay? Hold on. Auto sell. You can auto sell when your profit is 100%, 200%, or 300%. All you do is set the auto sell. Okay, look. Set it and boom, you come home and you're a hero, baby. You're a hero. I love this. Look at the simplicity of the layout. Let's go to the main page. Leverage, 100x leverage. Okay. 100% profit at a 1% price range raise. You know, and the thing with this is they're not trying to liquidate you. BitMEX with running their own game behind the scenes. That's why everybody gets liquidated. You haven't had a fair shake. It's time you get a fair shake. This is a real, legit platform. You, they don't even care if you use a VPN. Doesn't matter, okay? They answer your questions right away. It's really, really time. That, and you're gonna see a lot of people are gonna follow me into this now, other YouTubers and everything. We are going to make money, not on paper, not in a dashboard. I'm gonna help you make real money with this exchange. I encourage all of you to open a free account right now. I'm gonna be teaching a lot on this channel about German pinprick and, and tactical warfare. This is a game. It's a game, and it's so easy to see when there is weakness on the other side of the team, okay? It is so easy. You guys that have been trading with me and I've had my consultation, I mean, there's a ton of you in the Discord, and by the way, I'm gonna, I've had about 1,600 people in my Discord. We had some haters, we had some Indian scammers who would DM people and everything else, and I had the doors locked for a long time. Okay, I don't make money from Discord. I don't need to do it. I built that from scratch, all right? Why? It's a place where we can all talk, we can communicate. I can get information to you faster than I can in a video. So, if you're really ready to start making money, subscribe, hit the notification bell, go to my description box below, okay, and click those links. You'll see right below my video, it's going to say show more. There's a little description box and it's going to show you this. HyperEth, I love this thing. The contract is blowing up. If you don't know what this is, take a look at it. But here's your link to Bit7. I'll never touch BitMEX again. It's outright fraud. Okay. And also, I added some stuff. I added some stuff. Oracle's favorite things. Okay, if you want to start a YouTube channel, I've had all the microphones, the Blue Yeti, all of them, they all suck. This $20 microphone, okay, from Amazon that clips onto your shirt collar is comfortable, it's amazing, and it's great, okay? The best 4K TV you can buy. Oh, my favorite watch. Oh, you should see that bad boy. And if you like smartphones, state-of-the-art technology, there is a gaming smartphone out that is unbelievable. All right, and guys, look, I don't monetize my channels, straight up. You won't see commercials from me on any of my channels because I turn down monetization. Because I feel that if you're a fan and you're binge watching you know, my, my videos, why do you gotta sit through commercials? But I do make a living from this and if you do use my links for anything, I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Even if you grab one of these Amazon links, Okay, and you save that, you bookmark the page. Anything that you buy from Amazon, I get like a little, I don't know, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I think I get like three or 4%. That adds up, whatever. Look, we're gonna cover more on this. I'm gonna open the comments. I wanna know your experiences with BitMEX. I wanna know if you feel that what I'm telling you is true, if it's happened to you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and just be fucking great.